Welcome back, fans of Fate Grand Order. I am Avon, you're watching FGO Tips, and today we're concluding the second part of our event guide for Da Vinci and the Seven Counterfeit Heroic Spirits. Last time we covered the basics of the event, how the lottery system works, and how the event shop works, as well as the new limited time craft essences we can expect. Check out that video now in case you missed it, and this time we'll be taking a closer look at the types of quests available during the event and cover some tips on making the most of your farming. During the event you'll be presented with a number of different quest types. The main quests make up the story element of the event and are released gradually over time, usually once per day. As usual, I don't want to spoil any story elements, but I do want to stress two things here. First, this is a great chance to preview a servant we've been looking at for a long time now. And second, you definitely want to complete these quests because there's a holy grail waiting for you at the end. These are very limited and extremely useful for palingenesis. The second type of quest will call bonus quests. Two of these will unlock each day, but you will only be able to complete one or the other. One of the two will provide all enemies who drop true manuscripts, and the other will provide all enemies who drop fake manuscripts. Make sure you choose carefully based on which type you need most. And don't take too long to decide because these quests expire after 24 hours. They will be your best chance to collect manuscripts, so don't let them slip by. Choose your servants carefully to boost the right type of manuscript drops. And don't bother with Maiden Leading Caldea or Merciless one because the enemies are already entirely one type or the other. The last type of quests are the free quests. These will unlock over time, but they can be repeated as many times as you like. They will start off easy and ramp up in difficulty. The novice quest with a recommended level of 20 will cost 10 AP. The intermediate quest with a recommended level of 30 will cost 20 AP. And the advanced quest with a recommended level of 40 will cost 30 AP. From here on out, each quest will cost 40 AP and feature one particular type of enemy. At recommended level 50, you will face berserker type enemies. This quest isn't ideal for farming anything in particular, but it will be the easiest of all the 40 AP quests. If you're a little new to the game or having trouble with the other quests, this might be your best bet. If you're able to complete the later quests though, you won't be farming here. At recommended level 55, you'll face Riders in the quest that works best for farming manuscripts. The types of manuscripts you'll see here, true or fake, is based on which types of enemies you randomly face. Equipping the Maiden Leading Caldea will help you farm true manuscripts. Equipping Merciless One will help you farm fake manuscripts. At recommended level 60, you'll face Casters in the quest that works well for farming counterfeit Mona Lisas. There's one later that will actually be even better, but that one is considerably harder, so use this as a fallback if you need to. At recommended level 65, you'll face Lancers in the quest that works best for farming copies of counterfeit Vitruvian Man. At recommended level 70, you'll face assassins in the quest that works best for farming copies of the counterfeit self portrait. At recommended level 75, you'll face archers in a quest that drops a variety of things. It's probably not the most efficient for farming any one thing in particular, but if your best servants are lancers, you can collect a good mix of things here. At recommended level 80, you'll face sabers in the quest that does work the best for collecting copies of the counterfeit Mona Lisa. And lastly, I should also mention that there is a challenge quest at recommended level 90, which requires you to clear all of the previous free quests first. Completing this one will award you a crystallized lore the first time through. Now, I know all of that sounds like a lot, and it is, but it's worth it because this is a great event with potential to keep awarding rewards as long as you have AP to play with. This is a great opportunity to use those apples you've been saving up and collect as much of the good stuff as possible while the event lasts. I hope you're looking forward to it and the banner coming with it as well. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like, subscribe for more tips in the future, and as always, thanks for watching.